What up, RSR family? Guys, today we got one that you guys suggested to us that would be right up our alley. It is a comedy, and you guys said it would touch base with just, you know, the daily parent life in which everybody goes through. So today we got a good one for y'all, but before we get into that, if you are new here to the channel, we want to welcome y'all to Rob Squad Movie Reactions. Welcome into our home theater. You are here on Mondays and Fridays with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl, Amber. I'm pumped to watch Mr. Mom because when you guys told us a little bit about what it was gonna be about. It brought back one of the most interesting times in my life. My my dad owned an HVAC business. He worked a lot, but in the winter, sometimes business would go a little slow, and then my mom would have to go to work. Now that was oh, very your dad. My oh, dad took care of three kids. I was stuck in the house with all boys. Y'all would have boys. to know her dad. Yeah, and so like some of the meals he prepared. Like for example, he would roll meatballs into barbecue sauce and put them on a bed of egg noodles was like one of the staple meals. And then that is great beans Walker, mixed man. with, uh, baked beans mixed with boiled eggs, ground beef, eggs, and bell pepper. It was the kind of food that he would feed us that would leave me traumatized. I'd be looking out the window, so ready for my mom to get home, but he would also spend time like playing dolls with us. And it was funny to see him try to make it as well as mom and mm. dad. And it is something that I do still hold near and dear to my heart. So I'm ready to watch a movie where the roles are a little bit reversed. And I'm telling y'all, when Amber, when Amber's gone, <laughs> And it's just y'all's boy Jay here with these three kids. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, Lucas fine. The girls run me. The, the <laughs> girls run me. They do what they want to. When, when it's dad watching, the girls do what they want to. But I'm ready well, to watch Mr. Mom. also kind of feels like she's in charge of all the other kids, too. So Sometimes in charge of me, yeah. too. So I'm, so our oldest is an absolute like genius, most most independent person I've yeah. ever met. But enough talk. We're ready to check out Mr. Mom. Make sure you guys like the video. It helps us push this out and helps continue the channel to grow. Like it. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a movie Monday or a film Friday. We are ready to check out Mr. Mom watching it from our Amazon Prime. Let's jump right into it. Well, that just made me think. I've seen that line from Think About That Tiger. Y'all, there is a tiger loose in Oklahoma. They got pictures of it. Tiger in Oklahoma. What type of sense does that make? Unless it came from a. Uh, blame it on Joe. Blame it on. Uh, <laughs> but what's that dude's name? Joe Exotic. Exo Joe Exotic. Yeah. But yeah. There's a tiger shot roaming around. There's pictures of it on trail cams. I seen it said Michael Keaton. That's a familiar name. Okay. Oh me? Never better. I need like a lot. Good, cause your shower's ready. Oh, oh thanks. Look at the old school, like, headboards, head, mm -hmm. like, rails. Yeah. Morning, Alex. Hi, Bobby. Did you sleep good? Mm -hmm. The race car bed, that's sick. Just will be. It's going to be a beautiful day in Detroit today. What the man says, we're going to have eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you what, there's a lot, of, a lot of beautiful cars, though. We want you to roll up the window, lean back, and enjoy all the good... That's waking up our middle child. That, I was going to say, that's Kaya. Yep. <laughs> she won't get out of bed. If y'all ever want to see our children's personalities, go check out our family channel. Rub Squad Vlogs. They're wild. Morning, baby. Oh, sweet baby. How are you? How did you sleep? I'm, I'm sorry, CLC and Gug. I can only imagine. Really? Now that you know he's got a baby. Oh, you don't know, but the other day, I'll, it was Morning. one of the days we had a busy day. Morning, Kevin. I put Luke in the bath in his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you. What are, we, what are we watching here, Kenny? Robots, thank you. <laughs> it's a joke of the day. What's green and rides through the west? The long pickle. They're on to me, honey. <laughs> We're all on to you, honey. That's for them. I want it washed by the time I come home because it looks great. <laughs> Heisman. We couldn't wait to get out of there. <laughs> Gas money. Hey, fellas, telling me it's as simple as this. You, you can't sell cars, so you can't pay people. Now, come on, come on, relax. I like splitting gas money four ways. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
I know Detroit City makes cars. I just don't know if it's Ford. I think it is Ford, though. You know, I love coming down here watching something go drawing board to the assembly line. It's a treat. Yeah, it's thrilling for us, too. Yeah, real thrilling. Yeah, real thrilling. Why? Yeah. You know, me and my wife went to the movies the other night. We saw Rock, and I'm watching this movie, and I'm thinking, there's something about this movie that reminds me of the situation at work, you know? Which Rocky was it? One or two. <laughs> that matters. <laughs> Hey, did, did he have a mohawk like Mr. T? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. The point is, here's a guy who's taking a pretty bad beating, you know? Dump against the rope, his eyes cut. Was his manager dead or alive? Yeah, that tells us. <laughs> Get it out of your head. The point is, this is Mr. Dead. When you're down, you're not necessarily out. You know, I mean, I mean, you gotta hang tough. He's trying to give it inspirational He's speech, trying. but it's not hitting. I gotta go, guys. See you later. Well, hang tough, baby. Yeah. Watch his back. They're gonna knock Rocky. him out, baby. He didn't see Rocky. He didn't see Rocky. He didn't know. Is Mickey alive or not? Larry! Larry! <laughs> Larry's getting choked out. Morning, I was being canned. I couldn't say anything until it was official. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait. Oh, They've been hitting at people, maybe losing their job. Me after the support, Jeff. Oh man, after the devotion they gave you, you're fired too. Now, oh, I'm, fired. I'm I'm fired. You son of a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, let's get him. <laughs> yeah, joke about. Technically mm -hmm. <laughs> furloughed. Why don't you give me a break? I'm telling you, there's blood all so over the slide room. room. Just for a thing. Of it's yours, Jinx. Oh, come on, come on. Until he can review that. You're not exactly walking out of here empty-handed. You got your full severance. Huh? You got your profit sharing. Guess what? Price. Full pro rata refund for this month's gas. The gas money that they already gave him. <laughs> He's having a joke. Come <laughs> No, I'm choking him too. You gonna have me? You have me ride in the car with you? No, and you got fired. That's bold. It made me pay you gas yeah, money to drive yeah, in the yeah. office to fire me. They made, yeah, but they made it sound like it was going to be hard to find a job as an engineer. Okay, because remember what Jinx said. Keep that sense of humor. It's critical. <laughs> love you, Jack. He has three kids and his wife stays at home. Alex, Kenny, come on, hurry up. That's good. Two, two, three, four. That's it. Nice boys. You look real nice. Does Daddy know we got fired yet? Yes, he knows. But we're not going to mention it to him, are we? We want Daddy to feel good, don't we? So she knows about it. Remember? Technically furloughed, sport. You're not a bum, are you, Daddy? No, but I'm working oh. on it. Do you want my Whoopi? Oh. Actually, I kind of would like it, but instead, I'll take a kiss. Okay, come on, everybody. He came home with a good spirit mm. and a good face for his family, for sure. For that? Let's enjoy it. Maybe I'll last. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> Kids. Work around the house I've been wanting to get. And, you know, we're in pretty good shape. Yep, we are. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? What do you think I'll never get another job again? Don't worry about it. I already, already put the word out. What would you say if I did too? If you did too what? This is a good idea. We'll make it a contest. What? It'll be fun. I'll bet you a hundred to one. Oh. You don't get a job before I do. Why is he making this bet? Kid. I don't bet. I don't take bets. I don't believe in well, bets. Well, you're betting now. <laughs> Alex, Kenny, come here. You seeing everybody involved in this? I better hold it, Dad. Money makes him crazy. Good point. <laughs> Isn't healthy. Well, I may not be held fun, but oh. I can't. Yeah, can that too? Absolutely. Yeah. Give me bet too. You won. A bet's a bet. Uh, yeah. I don't take bets and I don't you want your money. Look, aren't you being a little hard on yourself? I mean, you have applied <laughs> to everything on wheels from Toyota to. I love her outfit and her hair. She looks beautiful. You're going to make a great impression. Now, do you want to go over that list one more No, I don't want to go over the list. Okay, let's go over the list. Now, remember, when Kenny starts talking to his breakfast, that means he's, he's finished, finished, right? He starts <laughs> talking to his breakfast. And pick up his one o'clock sharp. One o'clock. Now, when Mabel starts rubbing her little ears, it means it's time for her nap. But don't yeah. let her sleep past 11 minutes because then she won't go down for her afternoon nap, which is at 1 o'clock. It's very intricate details that you can't mess up. Especially with them little ones. All right, just relax. You're going to be great. There's nothing to this, you know. Hon, we got it covered, right, guys? Boy, am I going to miss you guys. Look, now, take it easy on Daddy. Remember, he's a rookie. Bye, Mom. I'm sorry, I'd be flipping out thinking about oh, you, you having would. to do the whole day with them. Very funny, Jack. What? I don't know where he gets this. You know, on second thought, I think I will take this money. I might need it for lunch. Okay. It's special. Right. Actually, a lot of them would love <laughs> to have this. Kind of... nothing. We're, eating, we're eating fast food. I'm telling you, I'm a regular Phil Donahue here. It's either fast food or uh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> the only thing you know to okay. me. That's terrible. Okay. Feds, feds. Go get him. 
right? Oh, thanks for the loan. Well, we got an air fryer now. I could pop something in the air fryer. What's his method? Skipping a duck? Why are they all hung? Because you're doing it wrong. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. I know how to do this. He's going the wrong way. Wrong way. Pick him up. Okay. It's a good system. This is crazy. Drop to drop off, moron! Hey, pick up and drop off lines get crazy from somebody who's been in it and I've worked the drop off and pick up as a teacher. Remember, I just told you it was like two weeks ago, a truck got mad and ended up backing into that pole and yeah. then I was going to pick up the girls. But take it seriously. In what context? In the context of my interview at lunch. Oh. Lunch. Well, now, before we go in here, let me give you some advice. Keep your mouth shut and your ears open. You just might learn something. Oh, so she's uh, tough. This agency on Schooner Tuna, it's the cornerstone of all our accounts. So my position is somebody better figure out a way to sell some tuna fish pretty damn quick. <laughs> Marketing is interesting. The class I had in college. Maybe you could have a fresh opinion. Do uh, any of these layouts, anything make sense to you? Uh, I'm not qualified to judge anything, really. It's my first day. You ever eat tuna fish? Yes. <sighs> You're qualified. <laughs> right. You want me to be really honest with you, Ron? No. Lied. <laughs> he likes. <laughs> well, frankly, none of this stuff would influence oh, me. <laughs> okay, y'all want to laugh at me? Mm. It all stinks. Come on, Ron. She doesn't know her tuna fish from a Cheerio. The damn good thing we don't have the Cheerio account. <laughs> <laughs> the, all that smoke in the room. We're in a supermarket. How are you? Dang, they're just dogging on her. She was right. When's the last time you've been to the supermarket? She's a mom. She shops all the time for a whole family. She knows hey, Kenny, where are the eggs? Oh, man. Now, that's something I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare take Shop the kids by myself to the grocery store. Settle out of court. <laughs> He's just destroying everything. Salt cured, sugar cured, prosciutto. Or All right, forget it. Just tell you what, just give me, uh, give me a half pound of salami. Italian, kosher, hard pork, beef, koto, or what? Honey, he don't know. Just give him the basic. I'll tell you what, just give me, give me a quarter pound of cheese. American blue right. cream cottage gouda <laughs> Edom for Romanos. All the women behind her are really getting mad. Can you run the uh, hams oh, back one more time? Just, I just want to. Stay right here, okay? Come back. And I love it because it's not just you, but when my mom would have my dad stop and get something, maybe even from Dollar General on his way home, it'd always be the wrong thing. Oh. And like you do the same thing, like you try your best, but most of the time, it's close. <laughs> And sometimes I'll even go in there and forget what I'm supposed to get and get something totally different. Never mind, Derek. Sorry, forget it. Kotex, 19 cents off. Thanks, man. Sorry, Ken. She was in back to school. She was the secretary for it. Steven. Kenny! He said his kid. Here, eat the spaghetti. Ah, spaghetti on aisle, Mom! Spaghetti! This is the worst shopping trip. Kenny! Hey. I'll trade you my kid for yours. Thank you. I don't have any kids. He just dropped them off. Do you see my little girl? Yeah, she's adorable. She's lost. You left a child in the shopping cart. Herb, one lost child. Oh, lost child. no. This is terrible. She's yours and I'm Joan. Thanks. Well, Carolyn told me you'd be around. Yeah. Can I get your hand? You give me both of them. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> We were never in aisle seven. I love it though because like I feel like that when I take them to the store. That's not just like the just rest of the kids. Overwhelmed. And I always walk out and forget something because of it. If you just want to talk, here's my number. All right, thank you. I'm sorry. What's it say underneath there? Anytime. Okay. Kenny, what are you doing? Kenny. Oh, Kenny needs a nap. <laughs> so where are we? She no shame, did she? I thought no. she was really trying to be helpful. Where is everybody? Oh. Up here! Do that. Oh, and then the bathroom, that chalk paint stuff. Mm -hmm. That bathtub uh -huh. paint. 
So hard to clean. Is that an unbelievable first day on the job or what? I can't believe it. How about you guys? I can't. I can't believe it. We can't believe it here, huh? None of us can. Well, what does he have on his feet? I can't believe this. <laughs> you just talked about putting Luca in the bath in his diaper. He didn't want his feet to get wet, so he let him wear his slippers. Well, Ron said he was sending a car, but he didn't send a limo. I'll tell him I'll be right down. Ron? Oh, Ron. Ron. Hey, Ron. Maybe. Oh. He's in his robe. <laughs> Well, hello down there. Why don't you run and tell your mommy Mr. Richardson is... Stay right here. I'm a stranger in the house. Smart little boy. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I did not walk in there with the dang chainsaw. Looking tough in his overalls and the sleeves all capped in his white tee. Pleased to meet you. You. Just waiting for Carolyn. Well, Ron, you know women. He wiped the sweat off his neck like he did something. Yeah, well, I like to do a little bit of everything, Ron. I write poetry, paint, sculpt. Oh. Oh, Carolyn, don't you look. Thanks, I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. Oh, not at all. I was just having a little, uh. She's dizzy the way she looked at him. Jack. Jack. Yeah, he's quite a guy. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we better get going. Okay. Jack? She saw straight through that man. Mm hmm <sighs> Very nice outfit, honey. Thank you. Uh, honey, if you call and I'm not here, I'll be at the gym or at the gun club. <laughs> Shooting or lifting. Number one, your experience as a homemaker. You're fresh from the trenches of consumerism. And, oh, thank you very much. Oh, boy. And, number two, you've got a, let's just say you're an extremely attractive woman. Oh, see, I've seen that coming. Well, there's not going to be any problems, see? Jack supports everything I do as a woman, in my career, as an executive. If we can agree that you are an executive, then you can stop cutting my steak. Oh. Because <laughs> he's used to so getting used to that mom life. life. <laughs> Gotta wash the bed sheets. They're not putting three oh people's gosh. bedding in the washer. <laughs> you know, when your dad was in the army, we had to run a tight ship. There were no He's stuffing that thing full. Dad, can we fix lunch? Sure. Anything but uh, tuna. Yeah. See how much detergent? This is about to go bad. Wait, let's save a couple of steps here. He's mixing everything. And spray, he started spraying some spray and wash. Good everything. Yeah. It doesn't even sound good and he's still gonna walk away. It's about to shoot water out. Go keep an eye on your sister. Play with her or something, all right? Go watch TV. You want some chili? Hey, where's your mom keep the vacuum cleaner? You mean Jaws? Mom calls a vacuum cleaner Jaws? Yeah. Where is it? I wonder why she calls it Jaws. There. That Jaws. thing is old. Vacuum cleaners have came a long way. A long way. Exterminator! Exterminator! Go to the front door! Okay! Hi! Pilot, are you water heater? Okay, by me! Anything wrong? No, no, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. I'm surprised it's still going this long. <laughs> There's so many things happening. <gasps> and Jaws is on the loose. Like, I feel so bad for him. Oh, no. A hot mess. Oh. 
And then this poor baby's being chased by Jaws. He loves. Gay, right? Oh, baby, this is what. <laughs> the blanket story. Not that. All that dirt went right back. And then baby got the chili. <sighs> <laughs> you crazy? You fed a baby chili? <laughs> and he loved that he had an audience. To witness all that. Oh my god, so I feel for like that stuff. Like, that's the type of stuff that goes wrong whenever y'all leave. They were high telling him out of there. <laughs> the diaper, the diaper, because the baby ate chili. He's got an apron on, close pins and goggles. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Oh. Well, I'm glad somebody had a good day. <laughs> you don't even know. The baby was still covering up in his his whoopee that was all torn up. I have no place to go, and besides that, there's not a job available anywhere in the city. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's not where I want to be right now. Mm -hmm. Well, Jack, I can't not go. I mean, please do it for me, would you? You know how many of these things I went to for you? A lot. I'll stay ten minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, Trying to get him to go to like a party. 15 tops. All right. Okay. Fair enough. We stay longer than that. We pull the old Aunt Emily. Aunt Emily, right. Let's say Aunt Emily. Wow, what a house. Yeah. Probably mortgage to the eyeballs. Not this one. His great grandfather, Commander Richardson, built it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Butler, you're a sportsman. It's kind of counting on you to take part in this. You know, uh, spouses are eligible. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, come on. Nobody takes it seriously. It's just good, clean. He will take it seriously. Mm -hmm. I'd say, yeah, but I'll tell you, we got to get over to uh, Carolyn's Aunt Emily. She's dying. And... Dad. <laughs> the kids would Well, mess it why up. don't you stick around for a few minutes anyway, and you can uh, watch. Is that somebody's dying? Fancy shoes and stuff, huh? Hey, yeah. right. I'll stick around for a while. Okay. What are they doing? Is a race? We got ourselves a little competition this year. Like Butler over there's a real jock. Look at the way they're stretching. It's cracking me up. He's the boss. It's his tournament. You get it? Yeah, but I don't work for him. But your wife does. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna win it then. I think he was going into this gonna try to going to try to win no matter what. Oh. Uh, because the way he brought the chainsaw into the house, the first time I met the baby, should have given us a little bit of insight to what the fish might be. Oh, gosh. Just a... Oh, they're is... running in a... Oh, flippers. Flippers. Okay, well that, okay well that changes it a little Look, bit. Look, he's staring down. He's staring him down. Oh, oh there we go. Ah. Oh, it's a whole obstacle course. Oh, I. It's like children's place toys. They crawl Look, they're trying to hold him back. <laughs> Look, all his minions trying to stop him from winning. Uh huh. And he wants to win that bad. <laughs> He's still pushing. Grown men pushing each other. Yeah, like oh children. yeah, it's going down. On tricycles. They can't let the boss dude win. <laughs> oh, I'm eating those hurdles. First of all, I'd probably push a boss dude. What's doing? Winning. Oh no. Let's go. He was looking at his wife. Didn't you? You did good, Dad. He, he wanted no. Oh, he wanted his girl to know I could win this, but I won't. For you. Come on, let's go. I Should thought he fell on that? accident on purpose. Right. I mean, on accident, but he did it on purpose for her. That's why he winked at her. He was running by like I could win this. Don't forget that. 
What am I doing in that situation? Well, I think we all know you. You know I'm winning. I, I love you, baby. I help you get a new job, but I'm too competitive for that. Never in my life will I take a fall. Like, I, I jump in front of a bus for you, in front of a car for you, but I ain't losing no competition. Oh, God. <clears throat> you know what, though? He's doing, a, he's doing an all right job. He's taking the punches as they come, staying on his feet. It was rough at first. He's doing all right. You know what that's going to lead to, don't you? I, I want it to lead there. I want to feel alive again. I can't believe people actually watch this stuff. Jack's going rugged. Look, he's gray, got a beard growing now. He's I'm not the father of the child. He carried that little Let TV around to keep watching it. Just who is the culprit? Daytime soap operas. I don't know. Well, let me guess. Probably the deceased Mr. Cashman. Ha! Wrong, Vic. Wrong. He doesn't even love you. Come on. Vic, open your eyes, buddy. You're making it with your friend Kevin. <laughs> you mean Kevin Bank? That's exactly who I am. Yes. Wake up, Vic. She already buried one husband. Let that get into the record for everybody to see. For the child to find out later on. We'll just have a, a no-fault divorce. We don't get along. It's certainly true enough. Well, Nikki. I Getting stuff done watching his soaps. Yes. Yeah. This is cold and the cheese isn't hardly melted down. Okay. How are you going to make a cold grilled cheese where it's not melted and the outside's burnt? And I'm going to stick around and make he's okay. There you go. That's one way to do it. All right. Ken, you know what? Maybe it's time to get rid of the whoopee, all right? No, no! Okay, all right, all right. Give me a... That'll help me too. He wants that baby. Don't staple it. Kept it down, okay? Because uh, Nikki's going to get the results of her blood test back today. Is it Kevin's baby? He said, is it Kevin's baby? Kevin gets all the girls. So you've got Nikki. Awesome. Little boys are even into it. So you can just forget about this annulment of this divorce. Yeah. Thing. Hi, Joan. How you doing? Uh, it's, uh, it's got to be Kevin's. Victor, how can it be Victor? No, you got a bad sector. It didn't take. Are you kidding? He's gossiping about the show. Hold on a minute. Give me that sword. Twenty five cent Wheaties rebate. Oh. Coupons. Van de Camp pork and. I remember cutting coupons from my mama. <laughs> well, I'm gonna see your 25 cent Wheaties and uh, raise you two. And they're using it as if it's currency. Yeah. That's it for me. I'll fold. Jack, why are you dealing me this garbage? I'm out. This is so much more fun than bridge, Jack. Thanks so much for thinking of it. Girl. Oh, that's old girl. I love him. I do. I'm calling you with the 25 cent new and improved van roll on and two 50 cent triple ply hefty bag offers. Mmm. Bluff. This is it. <laughs> Are these any good? This lady knows what she's doing. Uh, well, we got two pair. We got plenty. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom! You got all the kids in the living room watching TV with their parents and gambling with coupons. Family starving? Pizza home. No, I'll go. Joan, don't forget your coupons. Joan, come on. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, so he came in hot with some room service. Kids are a mess, Jack. You're a mess, Jack. I'd leave anything else out? Want to talk about the beard? All right. Beard's in its transitional stage right now. That's all. When it comes in, it's going to look great. <laughs> and it's going to look like a movie star. Uh, what... You remember when your beard yeah. was in its transitional oh, state? Goodness, you were so. right. It looks great. Yourself, you've really thrown in the towel, honey. My brain is like oatmeal. I yelled at Kenny today for coloring outside the line. Megan and I are starting to watch the same TV shows, and I'm liking them. Bluey. He's out losing it. <laughs> pride in my kids, and I had pride in being Mrs. Jack Butler. Where are you going? I'm going downstairs to sleep on the fat couch if I can get through the door. <laughs> You'll be sure to take sense. pride in some of that fat, Porky. Oh, that was mean. Joan, hi, how are you? Oh, forget it. Come on, that was days ago. No, it was very insensitive. Carolyn had every right to be angry. We're not talking or doing anything else. Uh huh. This, oh. This girl's gonna sweep in. Mm -hmm. Well, that was fast. I came as fast as I could. Like a soap opera. You sure did. And you have soap opera music playing in the back. I do? What do you think of this shirt? 
Let me tell you about flannel. It gets me hot. Oh, gosh. That's two. Okay, how about the beard? I mean, um, Carolyn hates the beard. I know. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. So much nice. Jack. And Joan? Joan, you're supposed to be my friend. He's too much man to be left alone. Oh, he's dreaming. Oh, okay. He's got to be. Honey, what are you doing? I knew it when she said he's too much man. To Come on, it's just a, a one kiss. I'll bet. What about the kids? The kids are just outside. I've thought of the kids. Sing. Silencer. Shoot. <laughs> you're right. God knows I'm guilty. I deserve it. Tell me something, Jack. What did it, huh? The boredom, the repetition. The... He's hiding behind her. Shit. <laughs> I love the <this> shirt. <laughs> oh, he takes his last drink. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. My grandpa was a tough old oil field worker and he loved old soap operas and they're so cheesy like that. Holy cow. What'd you use? A 38? Uh 38, 39, whatever it took. Bye, darling. Tough luck, Jeff. Jack. You bet. Jack. He's losing. Oh, he He's is losing absolutely it. losing his mind. The young and the restless. That was my grandpa's show, actually. I'm still alive. No, you gotta go. See? Ah, uh, there's, uh, there's no game today. Game called off. Why? Because there's a death in the family. I'll explain to you later. <laughs> that woke him up. That woke him up. They're been Rocky. They're playing Rocky. Stages. The first was denial, and then he got a little depressed. Now he's motivated. Hey! Get in there and clean the kids' room. Oh, he is smart. Remember, he's an engineer. Mm hmm. Dude, he's so smart to be an engineer. You won't be free! I'm gonna take a break! Oh, I'm gonna take a break! <laughs> now that I think about it, we've seen Michael Keaton in a lot. This is just, he's very young. Oh. Hey, stop the drop off door straight next time, all right? Come on, move. move. Oh, he's like super dad now. Yeah, he's working the drop off and pick up line. Let's go, monkeys. I want all you up. Let's go. I want the area police. I want the animals fed. I want you to report for chow. Oh, 700. Move it, monkeys. Move it. Let's go. Oh, dragging them out of bed. Let's go. Oh, late. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving out. I'm moving down in there. Taking some pride in his in his new role, isn't he? Not the same. This is the equivalent to him burning the fl flannel. Oh, ah, he's crazy. He said, "You try to go a little too far now." Little boy even has a Rocky Three poster. You and I have to have a man-to-man -man talk here about your whoopee. I don't have this whoopee. You're out in the street trying to score an electric blanket, or maybe a quilt, and the next thing you know, you're strung out on bedspreads, Ken. <laughs> That's serious. That's serious, sir. Now, give me the whoopee. No. He ain't getting that whoopee. Kenny, come on, man. No. Okay. Give it to me for a couple of days. If it doesn't work, you got the whoopee back. Please. Please. I'm not too proud to beg. You got a lot of guts. Think it'll work? Can I have a moment to myself, please? Absolutely. Yeah, this is a very mature way to ask. You had to do it. <laughs> like they just took a drug away mm. from him. That's how it's like when you get rid of the pacifier in our house. Oh, yeah. 
What was he cooking? I don't know what that is. No, really. What what is that? Maybe was it a noodle? I don't know. I was gonna say it looked like a noodle, like a like a styrofoam I looking know. noodle. He planned a romantic dinner. She's not going to be home till late. Oh, food's in the oven, chef's in bed. Mm, very good. Mm. You signed out for Chinese food, huh? No, Kenny made this. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're doing a really great job with the kids, honey. I appreciate it. He is doing a good job. Huh? Like having your gums scraped. Ouch. Bad. What is this? This is your life? Now, uh, bear with me. Next came 100 three trips to Hawaii. Who knew there was going to be a hurricane that much? Hey. You were stuck with 100,000 of these flower lays. I hope to hell you're making a point. Right, this is pointing at my, pointing at my shortcomings. <laughs> when this crisis is over, we'll go back to our regular prices. Until then, remember, we're all in this together. Yeah. Signed, Howard Humphrey, President, Schooner Tuna, the tuna with a heart. Help us out. Take some of the price off if you know the economy's bad. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works nowadays. Economy's bad, they go, woo. Damn I'm way. well right, <laughs> you're sorry. Yes, I am. Where in the hell have you been hiding this little girl? She's not just selling tuna, son. She's selling America. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's, that's American. That's what that is. That's what I think. Well, there's more. More? Yes. <laughs> now they come out laughing. It's a different tune. Oh, I am so impressed with you. Hi, I'm here for Mrs. Butler, 8 o'clock flight. Right. She'll be right out. Okay. Like, she's just gone so uh, much. Why do you have to go I mean, to California? Like that's where we're going to make the tuna commercial, honey. Can't you go? She's only doing this because he lost his job. To the round table. I promise. Mm. Bye, honey. Bye, sweetie. Oh. Wait, guys, stay right here, right here. Alex, Kenny, watch her for a minute, okay? But I'm sure it's also making her happy to create a career for herself and to do something for herself because as a mom, she doesn't get that opportunity a lot of times in the house. So now let me give you some of mine. Real easy to forget what's important, so don't. Jack, I'm going to be back in less than a week. Can't we please don't? Come on, everything's going to be all right. BT. <laughs> bad for all of them because she was stuck in that house going crazy for so long well he's probably working on it little woman's off again huh <laughs> shut up annette it's probably hard on her to see it, to have to go please daddy will buy you a t-bird okay you want a t-bird please put your bum down there honey okay i know but just ken she here He's potty training. <laughs> We're potty training right now. Potty training a little boy is the worst That's thing hard. in the entire world. Who are you? What? Who are you? I'm your babysitter. Excuse me. Wait. <gasps> he, he took one look. <laughs> nah. We ain't doing took that. Took the kids with him. Oh, Jack. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Hey, kids. Huh? You remember Uncle Jinx? They're big now, huh? Well, what this is about is it's, um, it's a review board. Now, it's a just a formality. Oh. They're going to ask you a couple of questions. He might get his job back. I hope so. You could uh, back me up. I think I can get you back on at half salary. Half what are you talking about? You didn't say anything about half salary on the phone. Yeah. He waits till they get there to give him the mm. whole information. I mean, all of the information. Uh, I don't know. You might ask Mr. Latham. We have. And? Sorry, Jack. I covered for you guys as long as I could. What? You covered for us. That's a lie. That's a like you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Jack. Larry and Stan were in here. Now, they already admitted that I covered for them. Now, come on. Time for you to be a stand-up guy. He wants to come in here and lie so he can keep his job in mm -hmm. hopes of maybe getting that guy's job back. Would say anything you wanted them to say. They need their jobs. You want me to be a stand-up guy? Okay, I'll be a stand-up guy. I need my job, too. What's going on here is wrong. Thank you. Son, you're gonna have to get out of here now. This is a meeting. Just a minute, Alex. Daddy's talking. You know that's not real popular right now, you know, taking pride in your work. But I did. 
I cared. You fired me for it. If you ever talk to my kid like that then again, I'm knocking you out. Did you see the way he looked business. at him when, that, when yeah. he kind of scolded his son? Standing on business. Forget the paper. There we go. And ah, man, your cheeks blowing. Would you forget the paper? <laughs> they tore that bathroom apart. The boss walks in and he's got his baby's butt on a vent. The hotel and soak in a hot tub. That's all I want to do. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Quiet! Schooner Tuner commercial, take 25. My fellow Americans. No, I, actually I, I probably had a lot more than 25 takes. Come I, on, I, get I, him. I, I don't, where are you taking me? Come I on, get in the car. We got him! <laughs> Where did they take it? This looks like an 80s party about to take place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> they got Jack in there. Well, these aren't the same guys. <laughs> 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 This is so cringy. Now that I think he's looking at you. Jones a wild one. She's gonna make sure you out there. <laughs> Popping them hips. Oh, I love that. He's like, where's he putting it? Where's, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Girls, next time I'll call you, all right? <laughs> Seriously, it was fun. I'll see you. Here, take this. I don't think I'm going to need that dancer's telephone number. <laughs> I like this guy. Before boarding the buses, we'll miss Annette? So that's why you offered to sit with the kid. <laughs> You knew where they were. <laughs> he was set up. They set him up. Hi. Come on, I'm taking you guys to bed. Can we call mommy? No, we can't. She's in California. I want to talk to mommy. Oh. Well, it's only 8.30 in California. Good point, Annette. Annette. All right. That looks relaxing. Very, very quiet. Oh, I'm mad for her right now. Incidentally, like, that's really just creepy to me. Very, very much. Oh, I'm quite sure you do. Enjoy all the that's so weird. <laughs> He's playing romantic music. And it's like she already told him no. Alex who? I don't know. Some guy. Is Carolyn Butler there? She's in the tub. Who is this? It's her husband. Who the hell is this? This is bad. Yep. My... First of all, the audacity audacity of him to cover the room while she's in the bath and set things up she didn't ask for. But then to go and answer that phone in a room that's not his. You better believe I'm on the next flight out. <laughs> You've been drinking a lot, haven't you, Ron? Moi? <laughs> yep, a lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to leave now, okay? Why? There are no kids to go home to tonight. Ron, get out. We could make a great team, Carolyn. So bad. Homie, get up out. Where's HR? All right, Ron. This is my official warning to you. Get out! Horrible when you're angry. Get out. No, I'm not kidding. Ron! Oh, don't be coy. Clean punch. <laughs> Sucked him right in the face. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Hello? Okay. Oh, don't be there, I guess. <laughs> well, you probably want to. Yeah, I'm not, no. Yeah. All righty. Well, you try to get some sleep now, okay? And don't worry. My lips are sealed. <laughs> The That's women in that neighborhood, yeah. they about to find out. Bad when I get your bangs rolled. Horrible. Man. I don't think I'll be called upon to defend my honor. I doubt it. I promised Jack I wouldn't say anything. You knew she was going to say something. In strictest confidence. Of course. <laughs> she took the wrong one. Yeah. It's going to go from house to house to house. <laughs> That's what I expect you to do. If some man push up on you, you better sock him. <laughs> she ran straight to his house. That's his house. She didn't run to go tell nobody. She, she sees her in her advantage, and she goes. Hi, Joe. Just a little work around the house. Kenny, don't paint your sister. <laughs> hey, Butler! Guess what? 
you had just got the TV repair person again. I don't think it's even a thing anymore. TV repair people? Mm -hmm. Ugh, I don't know. Go upstairs and take a shower. You can get a drink. You know where we keep everything or watch television, whatever you want. Now she is being wrong. Oh, wow. Is she bringing in whiskey? Jack Daniels, mm. it looks like. You got a problem. Mm. Okay. All right. A, she's an attractive woman. B, she wants you, Jack. She wants you bad. <laughs> I didn't want to think about C. D, Kenny and talk. Alex, Alex would be okay if Kenny had talk. Uh, it crack. He's really contemplating this. Uh-oh. Now he's going to be the one that gets unfortunate timing on, on his side. But, heck, she's got to explain him to do too. Why'd homeboy answer that phone? Free agent. And middle of it, I could have a heart attack, die. Carolyn walks in, sees me there, because I die and get caught. Joan? Carolyn? What are you doing in my bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> This is my bedroom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Is it too early for a drink? All right, why? Yeah, he's about to walk out and say some mess. Why did I get rid of that whoopee? Z, you're not going to do anything. You get all the way through the alphabet. Because you, my friend, are in love with your wife. Thank you. Facts. You could have started that, that point with A. Excuse me, I have a household to run. Oh, Jack! <gasps> Oh, oh, Jack, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Look, I'm not talking to you. Mm -hmm. No, nah, homie, what? You get up out of here. Boom, and they caught me. I've got to have your back. I'll do anything. Dad, is mommy home? Not now. <gasps> Uh-oh. I warned you, Jinx. Oh. Gee, one punch. You want a company car? One punch, on one punch. Punch. Oh, Hey, don't Gosh. hit me, Jack. I like what you've done with the... Oh, whoop his tail. Three days at the office and two days at home. There's no way to do that. I need no a person in their pocket. Jack, will you listen to me? Management wants you back. Jack. Thanks. Basement's <laughs> clean. Okay. This is so much, so much that's going that's on right here. Three and a company car. What do you think? You're kidding me. Take it. Okay, look, Bert. Tell him I don't make a move without Larry and Stan. He doesn't make a move without Larry and Stan. Oh, you got a deal. And he got his friend's jobs back. <sighs> Hurt your hand? No. Missed you. I missed you too. Oh. My fellow he did do the my fellow americans president of schooner tuna all of us here at schooner tuna sympathize with those of you hit so hard by these trying economic times in order to help you we are reducing the price of schooner tuna by 50 cents a can when that's a big reduction in price big. until then remember we're all in this together schooner tuna the tuna with the heart like he's the president my fellow americans mm -hmm. That was a cute that was little cute. movie. That was a cute little movie. It I was. love seeing him struggle through it all, but like succeeding because like, Oh, the mom the mom and you probably loved seeing well, no, the dad no, struggle. No, no, because for like even as a mom, like that's what it looks like for me some yeah. days. Like not just like this is a dad being thrown into it. Like that's real life what it looks like sometimes, but it was fun getting to see like him step into that role and like the the, the jaws and yeah. all the other little things that just kept going wrong at once that is something you feel now it was such a cute movie like i said i I've, i haven't taken care of the kids by myself as much as he did but i've taken them care of them by myself and oh man like your brain oh you like at the end of the day you need like just a mental break from it all you don't think oh my goodness <laughs> but overall it, it was a really good movie so thank you guys so much for suggesting it. we definitely got a kick out of it and like i said before we started like so relatable so yeah, so relatable, relatable for moms dads whoever that caretaker is it, this was such a relatable movie it was an easy watch for no sure doubt. it was fun had us laughing the comedy it was great this was a, a fun one to kind of throw in after watching something like the god Father. Oh, no doubt about it. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and watching this movie. We hope you guys had an amazing time. As we always send you out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every day that y'all wake up, it is a blessing. And you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family. But you have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know, Ma. All right, y'all. All you have to do is go out in this beautiful world and make somebody smile. We love y'all. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.